Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss the fines or sum of all pairs bitwise n. So uh, let us understand what the question demands. So you are given two array. Let us say these are two array and then you will have to create a new array. Each element um, taking and with the other element of the um, array in this way and then you have to take the or of all these elements of the array 3 and then you have to return it so like a and n or of p and f is or of this you got you got it um, you have to return this so basically like first of all we look at the n it's 10 to the power 5 so the n square approach like creating the whole array 3 creating this array 3 and then iterating over the array 3 and taking the sort of all the elements won't work since it will be o of n square complexity so we have to do it in order of n so basically like we could have one intuition for ZOR of two elements, like let us say this is A element and this is B and this is C. Let me put some random values. So, any so if like we know this, like if the count of the ones <coughs> of, of any bit is odd then your then that bit is set so for example like here the count of one is zero so it will be zero zero doesn't matter the count of one is one so this will be your final bit after taking a's or b's or c and here it will be zero and here it will be zero so we could use this intuition and we could solve this question out so i'll explain what we have to do like so let us say you are given this array a b c d and then you will create a new uh, new vector like storing the 31 bits out in a vector and like and you have to store uh, increase the bits increase that uh, like for example the binary representation of a is 1010 and for b is 0101 so what i will be storing in my vector is one one let us say it is this two and one like i'll be storing the sum of the ones in an in an vector so we would have to do this for array 2 like we would have to store the count of this ones and then once our vector v is created then we have to iterate over the elements of array 1 and if like and then we would have to iterate over every element of the array 1 and we would see like which set bits are there and we would add the answer of that set bit into our into our final answer and we would also have to check like the count of the ones should be odd in that scenario and if it's odd then it shows like that value would be added and then we would take the power of 2 to the power that index it would be more clear from the code what i'm going to write so let us first declare this vector b of 31 bits this is our final vector of 31 bits. So I would have to like iterate over all the elements of array 2 and then I would have to like check for um, like this will be a value of 
Rodrigo. Like you would have to like check that f which bit is set and you will have to increase it count over here so like if the value of n is 1 so this represents if 1 is shifted j times or to the left so <clears throat> if this value is great is greater than 0 then i would be updating my vector like this way and similarly now I would be iterating for the array 1 okay. so I will check like if this is set then I would increment my final fin of g and then I would move iterate into my vector and I will see like if finale of like I factorial to like checking it if the it's odd then I would add, add into my answer like the this and taking it long and then I would return this answer So in this way it's, it will be in order of n into 31 complexity like order of n only and there is one worse I don't know if I I have to do this for Eric to not for So that is my summit. So like to explain one more time, like what I am doing is like I am checking like if a bit is set, then I will be incrementing that index um, in the vector. And then I'll also check for this array one and I'll like update the summation of this uh, value of the vector like which I got for a particular index and then I will check like if my finale of i contains the odd number of ones in that case I would increment my answer with power 2 to the power i to 2 to the, uh, 2 to the power i and then I will return that answer So yeah, this is the code. So in, in case if you have any query, you could ask in the comment section. I'll try to answer. Thank you.